you're new here, be sure to subscribe or click on the notification bell for any updates that I may have in the future. Uh, I'm doing a very exciting video today. I'm doing an unboxing video for Comfy. It's a brand on Amazon that sells a bunch of kitchen appliances. So for me personally, I've been stocking Comfy's brand all over Amazon. My Amazon wish list has been full of their products. I have their water boiler, their microwave, and they just have a bunch of appliances. And what attracted me to their appliances are like their colors and they're very retro looking. And I think this juicer was a mint green color, which is going to make my kitchen look so cute once I'm done renovating. Um, sorry, my voice is like very echoey right now. Um, I just moved into this part of the house and we're renovating and everything right now. And this is just like a makeshift coffee table for this video. Um, but anyways, I'm unboxing Comfy's um, juicer right here. And very conveniently, one of my favorite brands on Amazon has contacted me to do this unboxing video for you guys today. Just letting you guys know I did get this product for free. And I'm very grateful that I could do these unboxing videos for you guys just to show you guys new products and I get to try them out as well. And I'll do my best to make this video review as informative and useful as possible. Let's go head on into the actual unboxing video. So I've been wanting a juicer for a while, but I just didn't know which one to choose. There's like just so many options of juicers, but I wanted to make sure something was like powerful enough to like juice everything and something that will last me for a very long time. And of course, something very cute. Uh, at least I know this is going to be very well packaged. I didn't expect it to come in so many pieces. It's a funnel looking thing. I'll set it right here. A cup thing. Another cup thing. Poorly looking black thing. Really shiny and very heavy too. And I think this is the tool that you push the fruit in. I'm in love with this mint color, like I'm not really a mint person, but I don't own anything mint, but I'm very excited to own this piece for my kitchen. I think it's gonna really stand out. It's just like the right shade of mint, and I think it will look good in like any kitchen. It's just like a, let's see, like pale mint color. Okay, oh, yeah, I'm gonna need to read instructions on how to put all this together, because I've never owned a juicer before, and this is like my first experience with a juicer. So this is an ice cream strainer. I didn't realize juicers can make ice cream, but apparently this one does. Let me know down in the comment box if you'd like to see me make ice cream out of a juicer. If you're interested in this product, be sure to check it out down below in the description box. I'll put the links down there. So I'm going to wash everything up before I actually use it. I just wanted to demonstrate to you guys how I sort of assembled it. <laughs> Hopefully it was kind of useful at least. But I'm going to wash my fruits, cut them up, and be right back. Hey guys, so now we're back. I prepared all the fruits. So this is the first drink. It's going to be extremely orangey. There are carrots, oranges, and some ginger. Um, these aren't the regular oranges because this is what I have right now at the moment. So I figured before they go bad, I'm going to use these oranges. Um, the reason why I'm using like ginger and all these weird stuff in my drink right now is because lately there's a coronavirus going around and my mom's been making like a ginger water boiled down drink and it's like really strong but she says it's good for your health but I would rather find a better way to incorporate ginger into my diet without being overwhelmed by the taste of ginger. Ginger is like super spicy especially when you get like a really huge amount of it. So lately I've been having like ginger cookies, ginger tea, and now I'm going to have a ginger juice. Um, my mom told me that when she was pregnant she drank like boiled down ginger drinks for like every day for an entire year. 
But I'm just gonna do it in a more subtle kind of way, I guess. What we have right here are some strawberry and some apples. So it's just gonna be a strawberry apple juice. And I chose strawberry and apple just because they're just one of my favorite fruits. And I think apples is a good way to test whether is the juicer strong enough to handle juicing it. I don't know, I'm supposed to make that sound. <laughs> Oh, I didn't actually look at the front of the juicer yet because I've been in the back all day. Uh, let's see, there's a reverse stop juice and ice cream self-clean option, so I would want it to be juicing. Strawberry sounds safe to start with for now. So I'm going to put in the strawberries and I'm going to click juice. Okay, it's juicing. I bet. It's a lot more powerful than I expected. I thought it would take a lot more to like actually juice something, but it seems to like but it seems to like juice it almost like immediately. Like once it passes through the seed, it's just like, Ooh, there's the juice. <laughs> it feels like the apples gave more juice than the strawberries did. Starting to shoot stuff out. That's so weird. <laughs> this is so cool. It's like moving on its own. I thought I had to like release this part for the fruit to come out, but it's just pushing out on its own. I wonder how that gets clean actually. Now we're gonna go ahead and release some of the juice out. This is so cool. It sounds a little weird when the apple is going through compared to the strawberries, but it seems to crush the apples pretty fast. And it seems to like have a lot of pulpy stuff for the apples, more than the strawberry does. I'm gonna ask my dad if he wants like the extra stuff like his fertilizer that he has for his garden. I don't know if that's something that can be used as a fertilizer. And it's gonna add in the rest of my strawberries. And it smells so good right now. I really love the smell of the apples right now. <laughs> it smells like I'm making apple perfume or something. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like I'm at the produce section and just smelling all the strawberries and apples right now. All right, finish drinking it. Yeah, all right. Then just take one sip. Hmm, tastes good. Needed the ice. Yeah. Now, my fiance is going to demonstrate how easy it is to use this juicer right now. Okay, fiance, hurry up. Here's the stick thingy. <laughs> so you want to make sure this fruit you cut is big enough to fit the hole in here, and you add the fruits like one at a time. You're not gonna like bash it in with a stick or anything. It's just to very gently push the fruit in. You need to plug this in first. I don't know why it makes that sound. <laughs> All right. Start by adding whichever fruit you want. And turn on the juice button. <laughs>
I can't get over how cold this is right here. <laughs> Nice and smooth. Good try. Oof. I taste the ginger. I feel like I don't taste the carrots. Mm. Tastes pretty good though. Such a pretty orange color. Right. Like how smooth their thing was, there's no pulp in it. It does a good job separating. Yeah. <laughs> so this is my first experience with a juicer, so I can't really compare it to other juicer. But my mom has like juiced like oranges before, and I've seen how much she struggled when she was juicing just something so simple as oranges. And this juicer like literally juiced everything in a matter of seconds. I didn't expect it to juice it so fast, so it was like really powerful. I do recommend it for anyone who wants to experience juicing for the very first time and wanted a very cute equipment to have in their kitchen. It's very, really pretty. It doesn't look cheap like at all. And if you're interested in this product, be sure to check down below in the description box. It's by Comfy on Amazon. For my very first experience with a juicer, I really enjoyed it. Everything I put in there tastes really good. I didn't add anything extra, I just added the simplest ingredients. I was a little concerned whether I was going to be able to juice like the more harder products like apples or the carrots, but it did it very flawlessly and it juiced it as fast as the softer products like the strawberries and the oranges. And I didn't see like a difference much between whether it was juicing the harder apples or the carrots or anything. It did make like a slightly louder sound, but it wasn't anything too major. I was worried it would be like really super loud and like really obnoxious sounding when it was juicing. But I think everything sounded very smooth, like the gears worked very well. There wasn't anything that sounded like it shouldn't be making that sound. And I could imagine myself like proudly displaying this juicer anywhere in my kitchen. The only thing I'm wondering right now is like what am I supposed to do with all the excess? Uh, I might just give it to my parents to make some like fertilizer or something. But let me know down in the comment box what am I supposed to do with all this excess pulp? Because I have like a whole cup full of it and I feel wasteful. But it, in the end I did get like really yummy juices. I'm a big juice fan. I would, it's nice to finally be able to make juice for myself. and. Without all the additive extra stuff in my juice. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, comment, subscribe. Be sure to watch my previous video. Follow me on all my social media sites. And let me know down in the comment box what would you like to see in my next video. And bye!